Have you ever had a medical emergency in the middle of the night and you really needed to talk to a doctor or a nurse but you had no idea what to do? Well, in today's Fuel the Fire segment, you're going to learn all about how one woman, Dr. Sharu Raheja, was able to create a company that solved that problem and also another one. Welcome, Sharu. Thank you. Thanks for having me over, Snowden. So tell us about triage logic and what that does. How does that solve that problem of the middle of the night? You know, the triage logic is started off as trying to help doctors and hospitals keep people uh, out of the R if they didn't have to go there. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of times you might have a new mother with a newborn, for example, and the baby is crying. A lot of us have had that issue. Right. And, and we don't know if this is serious, does it need to go to the right. ER or not. And so you call, talk to our nurses, they evaluate your symptoms and determine the best level of care. The big thing about it is not only do we save ER visits, but we catch a ton of people who think they have nothing and they need, they're need they having a heart attack, Ooh. there's a meningitis issue, there's something, a stroke, something wow. serious enough that you need to go to the ER immediately. Wow. So I know your nurses handle 10,000 calls a month. Is yes, that right? actually 18 at this point. 18,000. I know. And I, I oh, think wow. when I spoke to you, I said 10, and I looked at the numbers for last month, and we we're up at 18,000. The demand is significant. And not only are hospitals and doctors looking into that, what's also happening is companies are saying, wait a minute, we want to keep our employees healthy. Mm. Why don't we provide a service like that? to our staff. Oh, wonderful. So it's a way for employee intention as well, retention uh, as retention, well. Retention, keeping staff healthy and really saving money. Companies right. are a lot of them self-insured. And really, if you think about an employee, they don't want to be in the ER if they don't have to be there. Um, I was talking to a customer who uh, said, uh, you know, for, from an employee of a customer who said, you know, we're on the way to the ER. And my wife says, don't your company offers that app that has free nurses can we call the nurse and the nurse talk to them said no you don't need to go to the ER you need to see a doctor in the next 24 hours but go home so they turned around went home by the time they were home they already called the doctor which our nurse connected them to the doctor prescribed a medication and they were at uh, home and uh, relaxed so it saved time it saved ER visits saved money it was wonderful absolutely so what trends are you seeing in terms of medical calls? Are there certain things that are happening more and more that your nurses observe? Absolutely. You know, there are certain things, and some of it is really tough. A couple of things. Number one is, surprisingly to us, we tend to react quickly when our child is sick, mm -hmm. but we tend to not react when we're sick. Mm. Uh, almost as many, so we last month did a survey of our caller patients and we looked at adults only. Out of the adult callers, one in three who said, I don't think it's serious, I just think I'm gonna stay home, turned out they needed to go to the ER. Wow. Yeah. So you yourself were a medical victim, you had a bad headache for a week and it turned out to be a brain bleed? Yes. That's scary. Uh, it is. and. You know, and I, it's like, I was like one of those adults, but right. I kept saying, it's just a headache. You know, people, are, I'm getting older. That's what a <laughs> migraine feels like now. I know what it's like. Yeah, right. So I started to, to ignore it for about a week until a friend, I called a friend of mine who was a neurologist and he said, I don't like the symptoms. Let's just get your brain checked. Turned out I had a congenital disease. Uh, I was born with a defect on my brain, which I didn't know. It bled. Did you know that half of the people who have that die within five minutes? Wow, you are so fortunate, I really am. blessed. I am. So you used that experience to create yet another company for a mobile app called Continuel, is that right? Yes. So what I started thinking was, if it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. And when we work with hospitals and doctor's offices, it's great, but not every hospital and doctor's office offers a free access to a nurse line. Whereas when we went to the employers, they're saying, okay, your nurses are completely independent. They're not associated with any insurance or anything that may make people suspicious. So it increases the likelihood that people call us. But at the same time, Companies are offering so many resources. They have telemedicine. They have wellness. They also have things like getting in touch with IT if you can't, uh, if your computer is not working. It, yes. So what we're doing is we're consolidating all those resources, customizing it for a company. 
putting it all in a mobile app for the employee. Now the employer or the HR director, they can send push notifications, they can send videos, they can send all kinds of education material to keep people engaged, but the employee has all these awesome resources and access to our nurses 24 seven. And we, and we have a picture of that app, of the mobile app and how it works on the phone. So somebody could actually go into their app and find out how many paid vacation days they have left. They could find out what their benefits levels are. They could find out any number of things about their company. Is that right? That's correct. And what the beauty of it is, is that we don't believe in one size fits all. So we will go to a company and we'll give them what they want. So we were talking to Stellar and we said, and Stellar said, you know what? Everyone is calling because they don't know how to get in touch with IT. Or maybe they would want to have PTO, pay time off, or right. maybe they want wellness. We put it all in one place another company wanted safety checklist so, so we put that in there as well exactly. so how can people learn more about continue well well go to continuewell.com okay that's the best way or call us uh, there is a tab there contact us and that's the best way really because you need a demo that's how we will explain what we can do for each company because we customize for everyone's needs thank you so much for being with us and for all the wonderful advancements I'm so glad that you're healthy now Thank you. <laughs> Me too. And coming up next, you're going to learn more about how Dr. Tina Meskel became the Small Business Leader of the Year.